All right, good morning everyone. So welcome back to the channel and today you can see we're in the observatory. Last night I was uh, on an imaging session and uh, I was hit with the dreaded next dome shutter disconnect and uh, today we're going to take a walk through of how we recover the situation and uh, get the dome back to normal. Now the dome disconnect is a problem uh, that appears to be related to the Arduino version of the next dome uh, control system. Now I don't know if they fixed this problem uh, with the more recent uh, Beaver system. Uh, however, on the old Arduino system, it uses the XB uh, controllers to communicate between the shutter and the rotator. And this periodically uh, disconnects, uh, which obviously is no use as you lose control of the shutter. Now, I have seen on various posts uh, that uh, some people have managed to resolve this problem by replacing the internal XB modules uh, that are attached to the Arduino controllers uh, with the XB Pro module, which is a longer range uh, controller or communications module. And I did try to find some of these uh, on the net. Uh, however, with the ongoing uh, supply chain issues, uh, there's none of these available. Uh, so whether they're discontinued now or they're just struggling to manufacture and distribute them. So today, as I say, we're going to have a quick walkthrough of how we resolve the situation. And uh, first up, here we are in Nina from last night's session. And if we look at the right hand side of Nina, we can see uh, when we run down the sequence that the closed dome shutter uh, has got the red X next to it, which has failed. And if I click across to the equipment tab uh, and select dome, uh, we can see the shutter controllers are both greyed out, so they're unavailable uh, to operate the shutter. And if we go into the next, uh, next dome uh, driver interface, we can see that the shutter status is showing as offline and 0%. And clearly, uh, looking at the, the, the cameras there, you can see uh, the shutter is clearly open. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect uh, in Nina, uh, the dome. And to do that, just go on the dome tab and click the disconnect. And the next thing I'm going to do is just check which COM port uh, the next dome system's running on by going into the cog icon to get the settings. And it's showing on COM7. So now we know where to connect to. So after doing that, I can minimize Nina. We don't longer need it to, for the time being. And if I now go on to uh, the desktop, I've got this piece of uh, terminal software called Clear Terminal, which I use to do the serial communications manually. So I'm going to open that up. And the next thing we're going to do is actually power cycle the shutter mechanism and hopefully reinitiate uh, the comms. And now in Clear Terminal, I can go up to Connection and New and select COM port 7 and Connect. And we'll start to see status messages coming back from the next dome control system. So it takes a few few seconds or so for uh, the next dome shutter uh, to boot up and initialize and connect with the rotator. And we'll see various uh, commands appearing on the screen, uh, AT commands. And the shutter just made a noise there. So it must be booting up its sequence. And here we can see it's come up with the message XB online. And that should be it now operational. So the first thing I need to do is just go and check uh, the status of the, the Zigbee module on the, the shutter. And to do that, I can use the at SRS command. So in my uh, list of previous commands down at this bottom command prompt, you can see I've got where I've typed them before. I'm going to use the at, at SRS and then the new line and uh, carriage to turn escape sequence. So backslash R backslash N. And I can send that to the rotator. And here you can see it's come back SES minus 125 and 46062. And then another couple of numbers. So the first two numbers, minus 125 indicates the current position, which is clearly wrong, as the shutter is probably 90% open. And then the 46062 number relates to the number of motor steps for the fully open position. So the first thing I need to do is tell the the shutter that it is actually in an open state or in a state near the open position. And to do that, I can use the PWS command. So again, if we go into the command history, we can see PWS 
and I can give it the, I can tell it that it's in the fully open state, although it's not. So just PWS 46062 and then 46062 again uh, with the escape sequence and just send that across to the rotator, or the shutter, sorry. So that's been sent, the PWS comes back. And now if I do an at SRS, we'll see what it tells us. And this time you can see the SES messages come back saying that the shutter is in the fully open position at 46062, which is obviously still not correct because it is not in the fully open position. But we just need to be able to set it in a position where it thinks it's in a state that it can drive the shutter shut. But now that we've set that position, we can hit or we can send the close command to the shutter manually. And to do that, we use the at CLS command and I can fire that through. And you'll see that the shutter starts to drive close. So we've recovered the columns, we put it in a state where it thinks it's open, and now we're driving it to the closed position. So we'll leave that to run. And it stopped there because it's actually come into contact with the, the, shut, the telescope. So due to the length of the uh, dew shield that I've got on the RASA, I actually need to slew the telescope slightly um, out of the way, otherwise it comes into contact. And I actually build that uh, into the uh, sequencing when I'm doing the automated shutting close at the end of the, the sessions. So first thing I'll do is I'll go back to NIDA and I'll select on the equipment tab and telescope. I will unpack them out because it was up parked as part of the sequence last night. And this will then let me to rotate the telescope out of the way of the shutter. And I just need to rotate it enough past the window. So that will do there. So if I go back to the terminal software and issue the close command again. So at CLS, and now it continues to drive closed again. And when it gets to the closed position, uh, there's a magnet uh, sensor uh, that tells it it's closed. It'll automatically set the zero position for closed uh, back to zero uh, on the, the status. And then it's gone closed, and the SES command uh, response has come back 046062. And you can see the last two digits have changed from 00 to 01, indicating the, the magnet sensor uh, status. So that's it. We've recovered the, the shutter mechanism. Now, you can also use that PWS command to set an upper limit should you need to. If you find that the shutter uh, isn't traveling fully or is traveling too hard and it pushes into the backstop, uh, you can actually send the PWS command. Not that we'll need to do it here because I know that that 462 is correct but we can send a PWS and the second number there, so the second 46062, we can change that number of steps to where the normal uh, open state is. All right, so now if I do an, an at SRS, just to confirm the status of the shutter and send that through, we can see that the shutter has disconnected again. And that's why we're seeing this XB online, wait AT and config and detect commands. So here is, uh, you can see how frustrating uh, this shutter disconnect problem can be. Now, it's unusual that I get it frequently happening like this. And uh, normally I'll maybe see it once or, or once a session, uh, if that, uh, which is a lot better than it used to be. It used to constantly disconnect until I changed the uh, charging contacts for some reason. Uh, on the, the shutter battery charger. So uh, it's recovered, it looks like it's recovered there. XB online's come back, so we can try sending the at, at RS again. And yeah, sure enough, the connection has recovered itself this time. So as I say, the shutter disconnect problem is frustrating, or there's not a lot of understanding from myself on, on why it does it, and whether it's an interference issue or if it's a software bug within the how they've, they've programmed the uh, the Arduinos and the and the XB modules, uh, but it is something that I'm going to look at because it's not a reliable uh, setup, particularly if you're wanting to do remote monitoring 
And the other thing as well is the rain sensor is actually mounted on the, the, the non-rotating part of the dome. So if it detects rain during the night, it sends a, a shut signal to the, the shutter. And if the comms has failed, then obviously you're leaving your telescope uh, exposed to rain, as happened to me uh, just two or three nights ago, where we did have a, a rain shower come through in the middle of the night and uh, the, the shutter failed to close and uh, some of the equipment at the top of the telescope uh, got wet, etc. But fortunately, it was just a brief, brief shower. So anyway, that's just finished with clear terminal. So I can go up to connection and close the connection. And then I can close clear terminal. Now I'll put a link to clear terminal uh, down in the description should anybody uh, want to get their hands on it. All right, so we're back in, in Nina again. And if I go to equipment and the dome tab, and now reconnect the, the dome system. Dome success has come up at the bottom there, but the shutter connection hasn't recovered yet. Uh, it did drop out there, I noticed again, uh, at the end of uh, the, the clear terminal session there. So it's recovered now, and the shutter status is showing shutter closed, which is correct. So there we have it. That's how I normally have to recover uh, the the, uh, the dome shutter problem. And as I say, if I'm doing remote observing uh, from inside, then having to come outside and do a power cycle is, is quite annoying. And it's a problem that obviously shouldn't really exist in the first place. But I am, as I say, looking at alternatives. Uh, I have uh, Got myself some remote, sorry, some external antennas that uh, I hope to be able to fit to the XB module, but uh, I've never tried it before and I haven't seen MBLs try it before. So it's going to be one of those, let's just suck it and see. The other options, of course, is I'll maybe look at um, if it's a persistent problem and, and we still need to do power cycling regardless, then I'll maybe look at some form of remote power switch that I can do over Wi Fi or something like that and connect that into the uh, the shutter uh, power uh, supply and into the uh, Arduino uh, power feed and then be able to control that remotely. Other options, of course, is uh, to try and get a hold of these XB Pro modules uh, if they ever become available again. And failing that, uh, maybe you need to go and speak to Nextdome and see if there's an upgrade path uh, to go to their new uh, Beaver system. So that's it for today. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you dislike it, of course, hit that button too. And uh, any comments or feedback, please drop them below. And of course, I'd appreciate uh, anybody uh, who hasn't yet subscribed to the channel uh, to go and hit that magic subscribe button. All right, so thanks for watching. That's all for today. Take care, clear skies, and we'll catch you in the next one.